Three weeks from now, a group of students from Ryerson University's radio and television arts program are going to be leaving this cold behind for a much warmer climate. But they're not there on vacation. They're off to rural Ghana to help one of their professors build a school and a community radio station. Lori Beckstead is the professor who's providing her students with this unique experience. And tonight she's holding a fundraiser at Lula Lounge to help fund the project, and that's where we've reached her. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Jane. So tell us about this trip to Ghana and the the need that's there for a school and a radio station. Well, I I went to Ghana a couple of years ago to do a similar trip where we raised some money to build a school and then spent a couple of weeks volunteering along with um, some local people from a rural community. And we, you know, we dug trenches and we mixed cement by hand and we carried buckets of cement on our heads and we fetched water from the river in buckets on our heads to mix with the cement and so on. So I was really, really inspired by that. And um, um, it was amazing how much the people really appreciated having a new school. Basically, when we arrived there, there were children who were sitting out under the trees with a blackboard propped up against the tree, and that, that was their schoolroom. And, you know, when the weather's nice, it's, it's a lovely situation. But, of course, that means they can't go to school when, uh, you know, when they'll be during the rainy season. And, uh, you know, so to provide a proper learning environment is really important in, in rural Ghana. Hmm. And that's a very important issue. But you're also going to build a radio station. And I think maybe you need to explain why radio is so important in many third world countries. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, you know, ra- radio still plays a huge role in society, even here where people are all caught up in the internet and their computers and cell phones and all the rest of it. It's still important here, but it's doubly important in in rural Africa where people don't necessarily have access at all to things like telephones or the internet and computers. Um, even even basic things like mail delivery and newspapers, you know, they, they just don't show up in, in, in uh, some of these remote places. So radio is a really cheap and easy and accessible medium for people to be able to share news and communicate with each other and to bring people from, you know, geographically dispersed areas together on the same issue and, and hopefully help them to maybe even hold their leaders accountable for for development in their country and so on and so forth. So it's just a really great, cheap way for them to to do that. But how cheap is it to build a radio station? Well, it's relatively cheap. You know, it's we're trying to raise a lot of money here tonight. We, our goal is twenty thousand um, dollars, and but we're you know relative to uh, building infrastructure for internet or you know et cetera, et cetera. Out of all the media, radio is certainly um, pretty pretty straightforward to produce. We've had a lot of people who've helped us out with great donations of radio equipment, and uh, the money that we're trying to raise will ensure that we can build the school building and the radio station building and purchase some additional equipment like a transmitter. So, how, Laurie, how did you get involved with this? What took you to uh, Ghana? A friend of mine uh, w- uh, has done trips like this before, and when she told me about it, I said, oh, I would love to do that. It sounds so amazing. So she was the one that invited me to come along with her to Ghana two years ago, and after that experience, I, it was just such an incredible life-changing experience. I mean, to be able to go and, and live with a community and be so welcomed by them. They were, uh, the people in Ghana were so welcoming and so delighted that we were there and gave us amazing gifts um, of fresh fruits that they had grown. Those were the nicest gifts I've ever received in my life. We had mm-hmm. baskets of, of coconuts and, and pineapples and mangoes. It was amazing. And so I just had such a wonderful experience there that I thought, I have to do this again, and also that I have to bring more people. So I'm bringing uh, other people uh, this time, and I also opened it up to my students at Ryerson, and I thought, won't it be great to watch the students have this incredible life-changing experience? And what was the reaction from the community? Was it their idea for the radio station or yours? It was their idea. I, I work with a community, or rather, an organization called Disaster Volunteers of Ghana, and they're a local organization that you know it's run by people who grew up in the Volta region of Ghana and know what. They're doing. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just at the Lula Lounge getting set up. I think that was a case of beer that just went down. Oh, dear. Don't break the profits. <laughs> um, sorry, where were we? Um, I'm talking about uh, where the idea came from for a radio station. Oh, right. Yeah. So it's uh, the Disaster Volunteers of Ghana organization are the ones that came up with the idea, recognizing that this, you know, the, the importance of radio and communication and being able to connect geographically dispersed communities and, and it being a, a relatively inexpensive and, and easy way to do that. So we take our cues from, from th- this local organization who know they're on the ground, um, they're, they're in with the communities, and they also don't 
do a project in a community unless the people of the community are completely behind the project and mm. are willing to also uh, do the work and commit their time to do it so that there's real local buy-in to, to the project. Now, your students are hoping to end up with jobs in the media, but what, what do you think they're going to get out of this experience? Well, for me, you know, the two weeks that we're going to spend in, in Ghana, is it, I think they're going to learn more about life and the universe and everything, you know, more so than spending a whole semester in classes. It's just a really amazing experience that they'll learn so much from. And, you know, on a more practical level, they'll, they'll understand, um, you know, the use of radio in communities other than their own, and uh, they'll get a chance to help set the station up and also to help train local people in, in how to produce programming and broadcast and do interviewing and, and sound editing and those sorts of things. All right. Well, good luck tonight. Thanks, Lori. Thank you so much. And, Jane, if you don't mind, uh, people can check out uh, goinggoinggana.com to, to find out about our fundraiser at the Lulu Lounge tonight. And also they could donate online there if they wish. Okay. Thanks, Lori. Thank you, Jane. Bye-bye. Well, bye-bye. Lori Beckstead is a professor of radio and television arts at Ryerson University. She, tonight she's hosting this fundraiser for this trip for her and her students. Actually, it's not just her students that are going to rural Ghana. Uh, Metro Morning's Jill Dempsey is going on on this voyage as well. So all of those uh, students are going to be able to pick the brain of someone who's actually on air. It'll be great for them. The fundraiser is happening tonight, 6 p.m. at Lula Lounge. You're listening to CBC Radio 1. 99.1 FM.